5. As I always say, this is a place where we discuss track and field in its entirety. Let me say this. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. You will be greatly assisting the Sports Soccer 345 community. Let's get straight to the video. Today, or tonight, or this evening, whenever you're watching the video, I want to show you part two of the Pen Relays Jamaica versus the USA and the rest of the world. Please join me as we watch the race. We as some subscribers are about to watch the Pen Relays the USA, Jamaica, and the rest of the world. They are on their marks. Getting ready to run. Pack crowd. This is the high school boys 4x400 four four meters. And this one includes Christopher Taylor. Christopher Taylor, at the time, I think he was, was 18 years old. As they finish the first bend. You have things, Jamaica College, Calabar, and a few more teams from Jamaica in this race. As they are in the final 100 meters, first and off. It seemed like Calabar is taking the lead. Way out in front. Pack crowd. The pen relays is always a race that is filled with spectators. This is always kept in the United States. It has always attracted many persons from around the world. I think this is Anthony Carpenter. Final stretch to make the second and off. Calabar is still in the lead. Going strong. Extending the lead by about 25-30 meters or more. Remember, the anchor leg, you have Christopher Taylor, who is deemed one of the best 18-year-old, who is deemed one of the best 18-year-old star in the world at the moment. I don't know if these are their moms right there, but I love it. Third and off. The just go crazy. That Here's looks Taylor like Christopher Taylor. Look at him go. Perfect form. This boy is something else. It's a pity that Christopher Taylor did not carry this form over to 2022. He's somewhat still struggling. But at the time when these race were run, he was quite good as a schoolboy. I think he did this in three minutes and three seconds. Three or three. No, it's the seniors. Canada. Jamaica. Bahamas. And they're off. We are watching the pen relays. Pass races. Jamaica. That was Alice Felix. Jamaica is still in front. Being chased by the Americans as they made a second bend. Shelly and Fraser. 
versus the American and Shelly and Fraser. Shelly and Fraser stand in front. Woo. You see, Shelly and Fraser is capable of running 1070. You see the 1070 speed coming out. A wonderful run. Magnificent. And that wasn't so pretty. But, Allison Felix but the job was done. That was Karen Stewart versus Alice Felix. Alice Felix failed to close her down. As Allison Felix hands off to Bianca Knight, who ran third. Knight made a little bit of a dent, but now here's the problem. You have Jennifer Tarbo, Fantastic Fraser, race. two time Olympic champion, Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Look Tarbo at the crowd. First, but this is not Look a fair at fight. the crowd. Shelly Ann Fraser Price has run 10 points. We're watching the pen relays. Class races. And if you want to know how important that was, US women's have won the last eight years straight. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. There's been seem to be some discussion there. And then we're on to the third race. It's an open race, USA versus the rest of the world. Including Jamaica, Barbados, Bermuda. And they go. Seem to be motoring along. The Jamaicans seem to be struggling. Who is that? That seemed to be Elaine Thompson. And she comes into the straight. And Elaine Thompson. Oh, what a magnificent win. She came from behind. See, when you are the world's best. You can afford to do those things and still end up winning because you have the finishing speed. That was close. It's 4 by one Open. We have South California. We have UTEC from Jamaica. We have LSU. Quite a bit of teams. Let's see what happened in this one. Utec is out to a very, very good start. They're Should be interesting. We are watching the pen relays here on Sports Circle 345. Seem to be clean. The Andovers. Wonderful race. Oh, the Jamaicans seem to be in front. Jamaicans seem to be in front. Oh! See those high knee lifts? Jamaican crowd is ecstatic. You can see those flags going. Oh, the Jamaican athlete hit his chest, pound his chest. Seems to suggest they are they were in charge of that race. Just Wonderful. Here we have, I think this is Usain Bolt and Anka Leg. Four by one. Against the United States. Several other teams. This should be interesting. Look at the crowd. Stack crowd. Probably about 60, 70,000 people. Pennsylvania. And they're off. There seem to be two Jamaican teams also running. Two Jamaican teams and two teams from the United States. They make the first bend. Wonderful, wonderful. Hmm. And over seem to be clean, injury free. And you say what is gone. We're chasing him. 100. That one is in the back. You're watching Sports Circle 345. 
These are the high schoolers, high school girls, 4x1. You have Excelsior, you have Edwin Allen in this one. You have St. Jago, Idel. I think you have the Clayton Twins in this race. Should be exciting. Good to make this first changeover. You can see Idel up there. He's in Edwin Allen just run past the Idel athlete, and Edwin Allen is in the front. Edwin Allen. Edwin Allen is in the front. Edwin Allen. Wonderful victory. Wonderful victory. We can see Edwin Allen finishing 43-62. Idel in second 44-69. And St. Jago, Wormwood and Excelsior rounding out the top five. Rounding out the top